Furman's. This is Coronation Street. I told you, you're not going to Furman's. Yes, I am. I don't want to be late on my first day. Um, well, why are you doing this to me? Look, you get out. I'll take the car. I need the car. I'm going to bake up. Well, suit yourself. Where are you going? Curly! Uh, can you give me a lift in? I, I won't make a habit of it, I promise you. Right, yep, yeah, get in. I'll see Doctor, see if you can swing it. If you're paying pound notes, he'll fall over backwards for you. It'll cost a bomb, but we've got to know, Gary. I mean, Tess might find there's something wrong with the both of us. Oh, neither of us. I'll get it done, sure. I'll have to go to Vans picking up at Ender Road. I'll see you later. I might lose my bottle if I stand there long enough. What do you think? The flat. For you? Too close to the enemy? Oh, Ken's the least of my worries. Depends what Sean Skinner's asking. Well, I'm sure he offers a discount for unattached females. Have you seen it yet? No, Sean's going to show me round when he turns up. Hey, uh, I don't suppose you'd fancy... I would love to look round with you, but I can't. Jim's had a fallout with Steve. Oh, it didn't take them long, did it? No, well, it's nothing drastic, I hope. Yeah, I'll tell you what, give us a knock when you're going back. Will do. All right, I'll see you later. See you, love. Hey, what are you two doing here? Oh, we're reporting for work. No chance. If you two are after a job, then... We've got jobs, thanks. In here. Did you not know, Mr Baldwin? Your partner took us on, Ms Freeman. Come on, Johnny, can make us late. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, what do you want me to tell Willie? What do I say to him? You're not interested in making a future for yourself, is that it? Well, tell him the truth. Oh, Steve, do you truth. mind or what? What Sorry. exactly is the truth? I'll tell you, you think the job isn't good enough for you. That's what the truth is. He's a bit swift, isn't he? Not been out in the next five minutes and he's found me a job already. I'm just trying to talk some sense into the boy, that's all. Hi, you two. Hi, Hi. Mum. Steve, your dad's right. This is the best offer you're going to get. Look, we did discuss this inside. When you were in the big house, we discussed it. I wish you'd told me then you weren't interested. Yeah, well, would you have listened, Dad? Yes, I would have listened, actually. Jim, because no, my... no. Why don't you ask him again in a week, eh? Let him get the system out of his system. Oh, brilliant. We're on psychology now, are we? Is that it? Just give it a rest, eh? Go on, what were you going to say? Well, I mean, look at him. When was the last time you saw him polish a pair of shoes? And what time was he up this morning? Six o'clock, was it? To slap out? Well, that's my contribution anyway. You can take it or leave it. Makes sense, Jim. Yeah, I've just come from the garage. Kev's not there. No, he's not back yet, love. I thought he might have come back last night, that's all. Oh, from Scarborough? Why? Oh, no reason. <laughs> Who can blame him? I mean, he sees little enough for Sally as it is, eh? Hey, up. Oh, hi. I was, um, just checking your whereabouts. You've checked. I'm here. Anyway, look, uh, I'm off. Rosie, get your stuff, love. I'll drop off at school, yeah? Yeah, cheers. Thanks, Dad. Cheers. So, where did you sleep? You look a right mess. In the car. Just been back for you, but you checked out. Yeah. Took a taxi home. Well, I'll pay for that. Oh, don't bother. I'll put it down to experience. Oh, what was you saying to me, Dad? Nothing. Well, I didn't want Daddy panicking as well, did I? It's a big responsibility, you know, Kevin. Taking a little boy away for the night and losing him. Eh? So, how did you go on with Steve? Well, sort of settled. Hey, what did you think to Sean's flat? I was impressed. Oh, don't tell him that. I'll put the rent up. Oh, <laughs> not likely. I've told him I'll let him know. Oh, uh, did I tell you? I've heard from John. You know you didn't. 
Oh, no, the back. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Uh, never mind then. Jump. I'm meeting him at your hotel tonight. There we are, my son. You keep the change. <laughs> Did you have a good trip, Jack? Ah, oh. oh, do you know it was brilliant, Dave? You want to say Jack? Did we? Trip of a lifetime. I'm thinking of writing to Sunline as a congratulator. Uh, no, don't, Jack. I'm just <laughs> glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, it's really good to see you back. Right, come on, you. Chapter and verse. Oh. <laughs> It's a nice ticket traveling. Oh. But it's awful to come over here. Well, no. Come, come on. on. I know you're both members of the Weatherfield Association of Retail Traders, but have you ever thought of taking a more active role? Well, we pay our dues, Fred. We've got all the literature. Anyway, we've got a shop to run. Mm. All work and no play, Maud. No, the truth is, I were talking to the on sec of warts only yesterday, and he's as worried as I am that we're losing the social side. Well, we entered the Christmas raffle, didn't we, Mother? Aye. And didn't win. <laughs> oh, there's a lot more on offer than that. I mean, there's the there's the Warts Midsummer Ball to start. Grand do is that. I say, Grand do is that. Gives us all a chance to get together and handle the produce. <laughs> uh, just a bag of sugar, Maud. Well, if it isn't the retired Mr Gilroy, surprise you're not wearing your carpet slippers, Alec. Oh, I'm having them sold and healed. 70p, please. Oh, thanks, Were Mom. you ever a member of Warts, Alec? Oh, no, love, ab to me. Oh. You know, being a travel agent, much bigger organisation. Large and unwieldy. Ah, talking about yourself again, Fred. <laughs> I'll be seeing you, Maud. <laughs> a sad figure, is that? No joy in his heart. Now, as I was saying... Dancing's out for our Maureen, anyway. She tried it with Bill Webster and it didn't work. Mother, Fred isn't here issuing invitations. He's merely exploring possibilities. Abilities, yes, exactly. Um, no, it'd be a tragedy if we lost the social side, you know. Perhaps I'll see you later. Bye, then, Fred. Exploring possibilities, my foot. Exploring you, that's what he's exploring. Don't be daft, Mother. Fair enough. Even you wouldn't be that desperate. And that one's Satan, I mean, Jack outside the Mirage. Oh, do you know the shows there, Audrey, that knock your eye out? There were two fellas there, you know, made an elephant disappear. What? Just vanish, like? Yeah, now you see me, now you don't. I wouldn't have a word with him, actually, you know. See if I could do the same to our Jack. <laughs> Shame got to know me at the table. So I think it was the eyes that can go away. You know. <laughs> Bloodshot, brother Jekyll. No, like 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 lasers. Can see right through the deck. Hey, we can deal with a fella like you working with us. A man that can see through floorboards, eh? No, oh, no, no, no. Love a card. You see, it's a matter of concentration of knowing what comes next now to the shoe. Whose shoe would that be, Jekyll? The dealer. Well, I've heard about cards up sleeves, Jack, but cards in shoes. <laughs> You'll be telling us you won next. I did. 400 quid. <laughs> well, we know what they thought about Vegas. The thing they didn't say is what Vegas thought about them. Well, I'm glad they're back, Betty. Running a pub is murder. Oh, no, you were very good, love. Look, don't quote me. Them pair could have stopped in America for all I care. <laughs> did he show the photograph of me and Dolly Parton? Oh. You only thought it was Dolly Parton. It looked more like Wendy Butterworth to me. Imagine I've not brought my glasses. You know, who works at the chemist in Rosamond Street? <laughs> Audrey, you'll never guess what they used to call me in casino. What? Nick the Brit. Nick? Short for nicotine. Oh. They kept asking him to put his fag out. Yeah. The... Right, are you ready? Uh, yeah, I'm right. Hey, come on, Jack. Right. Now, it won't take long, because I've got it all written down. All right. Better do. Yeah. Just going to do the official handover. Right. See Gary Cooper's back in town? Yeah, worse luck. You'd think he broke the bank the way he's going on. Irish, is it? Uh, yes, fools and their money better, you know. No, no. He reckons he's won 400 quid at the tables. <laughs> Jim. Right. Now, last Thursday, the drayman left two great stout short. Anyway, yeah, this is a good one, isn't it? Me and our Jack with a stretch limo. Can we leave that, please, Vera? I'm trying to give a report here. Oh, yeah, I'm listening. Anyway, I chased after them, Jack, and got them to drop off the other two. Good girl, I. <laughs> Do you know you've been ever so efficient, love? I'm really proud of you. Ah, 
And then on Monday the 26th, I had all that business with the envelope. But you said you knew about it, Jack. What envelope? The one for Alec Gilroy. You know, the one with the money in it. Money? Yeah, some query about the raffle. What query? Oh, from what I could gather, it seems Mrs Bishop hadn't been given enough money. Dina, I knew it'd stink from this end. That Alec Gilroy's a rat, Jack. And you wanted to bring him a present back? Luke, 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 I'll sort it out with Alec. It'll be something and nothing, Samantha. Is that all, my love? No, no. Last week, the uh, VAT people rang as well, wanting to make an appointment. VAT people? Yeah. So I said tomorrow would be OK. Well, you're back, aren't you? Anyway, that's it. So I'd better go and help Betty. Tomorrow? She'd no rights making an appointment that quick. Like you said, Vera, dead efficient. You didn't have to cough up 500 quid, did you, Abby? Well, think of the alternative, Jack. The FBI interrupting your little sojourn to the sun with a pair of handcuffs? Yeah, he wouldn't have got that far. Well, it didn't, thanks to me. I had to hide that envelope in your back room and then just pretend I found it. Why? Well, you and Vera had to be protected. Thanks, Alec. Thanks, Alec. It's about the best you can do. What else? Compensation. Rather large bird tells me you got lucky in Vegas. No, oh, no, no, that was our fear as anyway, anyway. We blew it, didn't we? Yes, but you're not a man to ignore his obligations, are you? You owe me, Jack. You are? Mm, and I'm sure you'll tip up when you consider the possible consequences. The job's not good enough for him, Jim. There's not a lot more you can do. It's not that. It just needs time to adjust. Ah, chapter closed, eh? You offered him and he turned you down. Well, let's keep that note of celebration out of your voice for a wee while, William. Come on, Jim. It's hard graft, isn't it? And Steve fancies a softer ride. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's just keep the place open for a couple of weeks, eh? I mean, you never know. He might change his mind, eh? Blow the gaff, Alec, and I'll deny all knowledge. What? That you're a fake? You got the holiday on a scam? They wouldn't believe me, of course, but I could try. Come on, you're in as deep as I am, and you know it. You mention out, and it'll be me and thee knitting mailbags together. Come on, you. You've got to get them invoices sorted. That man's coming at nine o'clock. That man? Tomorrow, aye. Oh, and is this a first inspection, Jack? So? A word of advice. Don't smile too much. And don't wear your Stetson. Even he won't be convinced you're as daft as you look. Still, it's not till tomorrow. Sleep well, Jack. I keep telling you, Angie, you design. I do the hiring and the firing. Admit one thing. The timing of your holiday was inconvenient. Not that inconvenient that you hired two bullshit machinists. Good machinists. There's nothing wrong with going on holiday, Mike. The trouble starts when you get back. It'll take me ten minutes to clear my desk. All right, I tell you what, we'll leave it for now, OK? Good. Won't be long before you want them sacked anyway. Hello, hello. Oh, Mr Baldwin. <laughs> my ears are burning, aren't yours? <laughs> How'd you go on about getting a holiday around here, Kev? <laughs> Why, you don't want some already, do you? I might. Hmm. Ask Mrs Horrocks. Go. Uh, well, I was just going to go for a bus, eh? Which fancy stroll? A stroll? Well, a walk, a chat, you know. Come on, then. You're weird sometimes, you know that, don't you? Stir crazy, I think they call him, eh? Well, if I go back in there, I'll get the shakes or something. Now, it's not much, so don't get excited. No, you shouldn't have bothered, I told you. Your phone now, Betty. Yeah, I'm going to get Billy's tea. <laughs> hey, your Billy would have loved it over there, you mm -hmm. know, eh? Pulling the bandit with one arm, stay butty in the other. 
Oh, it's a wonder you didn't get indigestion, love. <laughs> Ta da! Now, I said it won't much, didn't oh, I? Uh -huh. And I know it's bright, but everything's bright over there, isn't it, Jack? Oh, why, without your shades, you can't see a thing. Right. Thanks, love. <laughs> yeah, but summer's there, isn't it? So yeah. it won't look a mess. No. I better get myself a pair of shades. Right. <laughs> anyway, thanks, Vera. I'll see you tomorrow, Jack. Right, love. See you tomorrow. Ta da! See, I told you, it appears to keep them sweet. Oh, ah, she was chuffed, I could see. You see, you have some of the money just cannot buy, Vera. Huh? Taste. Talking about taste, can you get us a scotch, please, love? Oh, no. I want you sober when you're doing them books. 120, please, Maxie. Ta. Ta. It amazes me they still manufacture them that way, but there you are. Sorry? Fridges with a little plastic grooves for your eggs. I mean, I never use them myself. I prefer my herbs straight from the carton. Cook better. Here's way of saying the sandwiches are fresh. Right. <laughs> Do you still see your little boy, Ken? Daniel, when I can, oh. yes. I'm hoping to see more of him once school's finished. Oh, of course. You have all these long holidays, don't you? Well, this one's going to be a very long holiday, Maureen. I'm finishing for good. Up. Oh, just a thing. Get another job, won't you? You're offering? Well, I meant with your qualifications, there's bound to be something. <clears throat> Who was it? Oh, nobody. Uh, 2.35, please, Ken. No, I'll spend the, uh, the first couple of weeks assessing my situation and trying to get my life back in some sort of order. Bye. Bye. There's your chairs. Cheers. <laughs> How's it been? Strange. In need of company. Mine, even. Not exactly buzzing in here, is it? Too quiet for you? Hmm. A bit. Do you uh, want to go and sit down, mate? Yeah, if you like. Over there, suit you? Yeah. Go for it. Two Come on. Hi. Hi. <laughs> is John not here yet? No, not yet. Hey. You look knockout. Oh, thanks. I should do. I've been sticking and pasting for two hours. Well, go sit yourself down and I'll bring you a G&T over. Uh, do you think the boys would mind if I sat with them? Oh, no. John might get the wrong idea. Oh, well, I'll just stop here then, shall I? No. No, I wouldn't. Some men don't like to see a woman propping up a bath. Should I go out and come in again? <laughs> go sit down on your own and I'll bring you a drink over. Oh, I'm not used to this. <laughs> So you reckon these VAT people are quite human, dear friend? Depends how you play it, Jack. Offer no strong drink, just cups of tea and a few fancies. No problem. Right, right. Evening, Jack. Usual. Uh, for starters, telling me earlier about Vegas. What kind of pudding spends his time gambling when there's all them wenches about? Do you have to keep talking about it? Can't you tell me about your day? I'm just telling you about mine. You let it slip. You're working in a supermarket and bang goes my credibility. You mean they're calling your overdraft? Oh, dear. That is not funny. 120. Thank you. In the great. Yeah. All right. Yeah, mate. Mm -hmm. Hey. Um, how's Vicky? Look, I'm, I'm interested, Alec. I, uh, I want her to do well. She's done very well since she ditched you. Look, there's no ulterior motive here, Alec. I, um, well, I just wanted to know that I'm sorry for what I put her through. Something you said? Obviously, Jack. Two pints here, please, mate. Coming up, son. He's not coming, is he? I'll fetch you another drink over. I've had three. Well, have another. Oh, go on, then. Might as well get sloshed as sit here wishing I had. Deirdre, I can't apologise enough. Can I come in? And he's laughing now, have we? Sorry? You and Chris this afternoon, telling him about me. Oh, don't be so stupid. 
Look, I've come to explain, okay? Not just about this morning, but about last night as well. Can I sit down? Suit yourself. Yeah, well, maybe I should explain. I don't like listening to you going on about your ex-boyfriends. Because if you can dump them like that, you can dump me the same way. Yeah, well, that's not going to happen, is it? Oh, that's right. Have a right good laugh. I'm a scream, Anna. No, you're not. You're lovely. Look, I'm sorry if I upset you. I didn't mean to. Yeah, well, you don't look it. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to promise me one thing, right? That you'll never stop being jealous. Because do you know why? I love you for it. Give us a kiss. To tell you the truth, I was half hoping you wouldn't be here. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm delighted. It's just that I had no idea how I was going to entertain you. <laughs> but you're doing all right so far. I'm not the world's best conversationalist, I know. It's got worse since Linda and I split up. Linda? My wife. Ex. So you've been married then? Briefly. There was no one else involved, thankfully, apart from my work. And no children either, which was a blessing. Even when I was there, we didn't have much to say to each other. Come to think of it, I haven't got that much to say to anybody. Stop knocking yourself. The divorce was amicable enough. We exchanged Christmas cards. Where is she now? Devon, with her new bloke. He works in a bank, feet firmly on the ground. <laughs> there's me yawning on and there's you drinking from an empty glass. Same again. Thanks. Oh, I'm gonna... Yep, she needs a rest. Keep the change. I'll tell her. Michael, you know as much about management as I do, don't you? More. Yeah, well, then you'd be able to tell if someone uh, is happy in their work. I mean, take Alma, for example. She looked today as though she was enjoying herself. Stacking shelves. <laughs> Give her a week, she'll be sick of it. Yeah, well, in future, I'd really appreciate it if you uh, refrained from undermining my workforce. Unlike you and your lot, I run a happy ship. That's another. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, mate. Okay, floppy. Hi, eh? How are you doing? All right. Uh, huh. We're uh, just going, actually. All right, I was going to buy you a drink. Some of the time, eh? See ya. See ya. Oi! Are you uh, playing hard to get, or what? Something like that, yeah. I want back. Fiona? She's engaged to a copper steed. Well, this isn't the time or the place. But I'll get her back. Watch me. Two on one, sir, please. Okay. 